Hello and welcome to our channel. I'm Philip. I'm James. And I'm Benjamin. And together we're, we're the Flip, Flip for Fat Bros. Bros. And today we're going to be talking about the Southern Ring next thing. So, well, these snakes have a blackish gray top. Then, if you look on the bottom, it looks beautiful. It's kind of like a sunrise. It's got the yellow near the neck. Go towards the middle and you'll see sort of an orange. And then on the tip of the tail, it's red. You can determine if these are southern or northern. But if you look at this ring here, it's cracked. The southerns will commonly have that. But if it does have a full ring, just to make sure, you can always look at the bottom. Those dots there, you can determine whether it's southern or not by looking if it has those or not. These snakes get up to about 10 to 15 inches. The females are bigger than the males, but the northerns will always be bigger than the southerns. These snakes are ectotherm, which means they don't regulate their own body temperature. They get their warmth from their surroundings. These guys can be found under rocks, logs, leaves, grass, anywhere that they can hide or shelter themselves. Some of the things that these snakes like to eat are frogs, lizards, and worms, and their favorites are salamanders. Whoa, no way! Wow, so cool. Two in one day. So, even though they're the same snakes, they do look a bit different. This one has a more of a yellow neck compared to this one, which has an orange neck. This one has the cracked ring. This one has no cracks. This one is a bit bigger than this one. When grabbing or handling snakes, you have to be very careful with what specimen they are because they can do damage to you. And if, if you accidentally grab a venomous one, you can really get hurt. Except for this fact, these little guys have a big defense mechanism. When there's a predator, they shoot a musk to make it stink. And I know firsthand because it shot a musk at me and it was very stinky. Flip for this fact, these guys have venom which they use to attack their prey. Yet they wouldn't be considered harmful to humans because even if they bit you, they wouldn't give you anything that may be a bit of a reaction. It may seem unbelievable, but they have two fangs at the back of their mouth, which they use to inject venom into their prey. We're comfortable handling these guys because we know what they are. We've caught them and handled them before, and our parents gave us permission to grab these guys. Okay guys, it's time to release them. We're gonna release them while we found them. So we're going to be releasing these guys because we never like to keep an animal too long and it would be harmful to them to keep them for so long that they starve or something like that. So I'm going to release them. To a better place. Thank you 
for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you've ever encountered one of these guys, please um, comment below. See you on the next fact flip.